Hey guys, this is my new Pepe airplane. Um, this is one of my most favorite plane because it flies so well and it looks so awesome. Uh, anyways, as a way to thank you, you guys for supporting me from day one, I decided to share with you this paper airplane. This is uh, my one of my best designs ever. So let me throw it. This is not a long distance plane, but this flies very, very well. Let's take a look. Let me throw it again. Let me show you guys how it fly. It's more like a boomerang. Awesome, isn't it? This flies very, very well. And I hope you guys will enjoy making this plane. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's check it out. Thanksgiving guys, welcome to 3 Day channel and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a flying bird. My initial idea is to make a flying turkey, but you know, turkey can't fly. So I just make whatever flying bird and I hope you guys will be okay with the paper airplane. Uh, anyways, let's start. To make the paper airplane, you need a piece of your slatter size paper. If you don't have your slatter size paper, Use A4 paper. If you don't have A4 paper, use whatever rectangle piece of paper. Just make sure that this is not thick. It should be like regular printing paper thickness. And it should be okay to make the blend. Now, I will fold the paper in half. As you can see, I uh, sent a crease here already. I just fold it to show you the first step that I do. So just fold the paper in half. Let's look perfect. Let's flatten it down. And now start from this top edge, fold it diagonally from to this side and to this side as well. So let's do it. I fold it like this first. And I press the paper down. Press this. Perfect. Repeat the same fold for the other side. Oh, it is off a little bit, so I will adjust it. This is okay. This is what we always do. Sometimes we make mistake and we need to fix this. This is okay. So I fix this first and I repeat the same fold for the other side. Now for the other side it will be much easier because we have the intersection of this crease and the edge. I will just match this corner to this crease. So just match it and you may need to adjust it just a little bit. Okay, And I press the paper down. I press this down here and this looks just awesome, right? Oh, need to fix it now. Okay. Perfect. And this looks fine. Now we have the, uh, the two diagonal creases and the center crease and both of them crush right here. Let's flip the paper over. Flip it over. Now I'll start from this top edge. I'll put straight down. And I use this crease as a preference. When I fold, I just hold this and then I just fold it. Now the center crease is very important, right? Let's match the center crease. Here we go. So this is perfect. Now I rest this part of the paper down. Here we go. Now unfold the paper and flip it over. And now let's turn the paper this way. Okay, let's match this. Let's match this crease to the center crease. Here we go. And then press the top part down. Let's pull it down. Perfect. Okay, the bird, what the bird have? The bird, of course, a bird has the tail, has the wings. So let's see how I can do it. I'm going to create the tails of the bird first. So I fold this size, this piece of the paper to a size and smash this edge here. Match just there. Okay. So I finish one side. I finish and then I unfold the paper. Next step I smash this edge. Actually I will match this edge to the crease that we just make. 
there we go and then I fold this back again one part and I fold this side out same thing for this side I fold this piece of paper to a side and I start from this edge I fold to the center crease Rest the paper down, press it down, 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 unfold, start from this edge, fold to this crease. And I can press the paper down, 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 and then fold it one more time. And then fold this back, back. Now I have the tail of the bird. Let's me turn over. Here we go. So this is tail of the bird. This may not look like the tail yet, but we will go in to fix this. All right. So now I turn the paper over. I will start from this tip and fall straight to this line. I fall straight to that line. Okay. Wow. This is too much. So I adjust it a little bit. All right. Instead of fold to that line, I just fold it a little bit less. Okay, now the distance from here is, here is about one inch. Take a look at this here, to here is one inch. And I can press the paper down because this has the wings now. It has the wings. And then I fold this side of the paper up to create the bit of the bird. So create the head of the bird right here too. Okay. All right, so now I can fold the paper in half. Oh, let's adjust it. When I fold the paper in half, I will have something like this. I have the wings of the bird here and the tail. All right, let's me fold it down. Okay, now we have a very cool paper plan. It doesn't look much more like a bird. All right, so I will start from this edge and make it to the other edge to create the uh, the body of the bird. So just for now exactly that is what we have I flip the paper over I for the same thing and now I have the wings of the bird right wings bird beard and how about the tail it doesn't look like the tail at all so I will flip the paper over and I fold this one up a bit and I fold this size of the paper out like this you see that and I repeat the same fold for the other side. I fold this side up a little bit. And I cut this one out. This this upper layer. I cut it out, out until I meet to this corner. Alright. I rest this one down now. Oh, I'll go back here and fix this. If it is off on this side, it should be off on the other side too. Alright. So, I press this down. Press down, down, down. And I press the paper, I fold it down. Fold it down, down, down. Here we go. So we have the tail of the birds, the wings, and the head. How we can make the head look more like the bird too? You want to do a little bit more step? Okay. So if you want to, you want to do a little bit more or you want to start from here. If you want to start from here, you can start flying it now. Maybe it does not fly very well, it's, but it does fly. But if you want to do a little bit more, I will show you how to do it. Alright, so let me start from here first for people who don't want to move forward. Um, just This is the paper airplane, you can test it out. Um, if you like the video, share the tutorial with your friends and subscribe my channel. But if you want to move forward to the next step, let's do it. Now let me hold the paper up. I unfold the paper and I make the head of the bird by folding this. Look at this. Look how I do. I hold the paper airplane like this and I fold it down a bit and then I press it in. When I press it in, this part of the paper will pop up. It will pop up like this. It will create create the head of the bird. See? So I can adjust it just a little bit here and there until it's more like the head of the bird see and I can fold the wings down here we go oh my should both say or even if you don't do it carefully it won't be even so I fold it and here we go so this is we have 
we have a new cool paper bird. If it scales down too much, right? This part, if it scales down too much, the bird may not fly at all. This may not fly at all, but uh, sometimes you have to curve the tail of the bird up, right, to have it fly. So we just curve it up. And yeah, this is a new paper bird. I hope you guys will enjoy making this paper bird. Don't forget to like the video, share the tutorial with your friends, and subscribe my channel. Finally, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.